Step 1. Rhythmic energy. There's a super energetic bassline in the new single No Reason by the Chemical Brothers. To write a bassline like this, you need a lot of movement. Not just rhythmic movement, but melodic movement too. So start by writing an energetic 2 bar rhythm for your bassline. Just use one pitch for now. We used A. You see, if you can get your bass sounding cool on one note, imagine how amazing it's going to sound when you bring in the melodic movement. Here are three guidelines for writing your rhythm. First, use a combination of 8th notes and 16th notes. This provides speed and variety. Second, use lots of rests. This allows your bass line to breathe. And third, use a few syncopated notes, which are offbeat accents. This makes it groove. And by the way, the tempo is 128 BPM. Step 2. Melodic energy. Now it's time to add melody. So first think about the chord progression you want your bass line to outline. We're in the key of A minor here, which is all the white notes from A to A, and the chord progression we chose to outline is G major, F major, and A minor. Next, move some of your notes an octave higher. This hugely increases the energy, because it hugely increases the melodic range. It's sounding good already, but the bass is still only playing the root note of each chord. So next you want to move some notes off the roots. Over the G major, we're playing F a couple times. That's the flat 7. This is a funk favorite, so try to use a flat 7 somewhere. Over the F major, we're playing E a couple times, which is the 7. And by the way, the flat 7 over G followed by the 7 over F creates a motif. A motif is a short musical idea which is repeated to give music structure and make it more memorable. And just before we jump into the next step, if there's an artist you want us to hack, drop us a comment. Also, are you new to music theory or are you experienced but you want a refresher? Then download our free book. It only takes 30 minutes to read, then you'll have a solid theory foundation that you can instantly apply to your songwriting and producing. You can get the free book at hackmusictheory.com. Then lastly, over the A minor, we played C. That's the flat three. This creates some variation. And the flat three is also another funk favorite. So throw one in somewhere if you can. <laughs> 